Hi everyone, Janie here, and today I'm going to be making a beautiful beach theme card using the Coca Rosa Seashells and Starfish Frame Cutting Die from In Love Arts, and also the Coca Rosa Beach Umbrella and Surfboard Cutting Dies from In Love Arts that you've seen me use before, and I thought they would be a perfect addition to this card. And I am using my Sizzix Big Shot Switch Plus to do the die cutting. And I'm really happy with how well this cut, including all of the intricate little pieces. Everything just popped right out with no problem. And I love all of the seashells and starfish that are cut out because they can be used separately or inlaid back in like I'm going to do. But the first thing that I'm going to do is add some foil without using a machine. And I'll be doing that by spraying the border piece with spray adhesive and then laying the transfer foil on top of that and burnishing it down really good. I like to use my fingers and rub all over it really well to make sure that the foil and the die cut make complete contact before I carefully peel off the foil sheet. One of the signs that it's making complete contact is when you can start seeing the shape of the item that you're putting the foil on. And I'd like to point out that this works with any transfer foil and I will link my videos on the end of the screen of this video so that you can learn more foiling techniques that do not require a machine. Now, when you're sure that everything is covered, then you slowly and carefully peel back the foil sheet and you will see that the foil has transferred to the item that you're putting it on. And if you see any places that were missed, just go back with the foil and rub it over those areas. It is so easy to foil anything that you want without a machine. And you can do this with more than just cards. And next, I'm going to be using spray adhesive, but you can use any glue that you want and I'm adhering that piece to a piece of cardstock and then I will cut around it and I'm doing this to make that piece sturdier and also to give me a backing for when I inlay the pieces back in. Next I'm going to be inking the center using close to my heart Pacifica ink and a blending brush. I would have preferred to use my distress inks but they are still in storage so I'm just going to have to work with what I have. And I'm just trying to create an ocean look, and I think it came out okay. But if you were thinking that I did not do a good job blending because of the darker areas, that is actually the look I was going for. Because if you've ever looked at pictures of the ocean, it looks darker in the deeper areas and lighter in the shallow areas. And for the surfboards and sun, I'm going to be coloring those with my Spectrum Noir Tri-Blend Alcohol ink markers, which is why I die cut them from white cardstock. But I could have also cut them out of solid color cardstock or even pattern cardstock, but I like to color them. And then I glued the layers together with my Zig two-way glue pen. And I'm also using those markers to color the die cut pieces from that frame that I'm going to be inlaying back in. And you may have noticed that I had die cut them from a pale beige color to get more of an earthy beach look after they're colored. And then I can layer them back into their places in that frame border. And I also ended up coloring some of those tiny starfish before I laid those back in. And then I used colored pencils to fill in some of the spaces that I didn't inlay things back into. So because the shell frame is not quite as wide as the card base, which is five and a half by four and a fourth, I decided to ink around the edges of the card base to give it a sandy beach look. And again, this does not have to look perfect because sand is not perfect. As perfect as nature is, it has too many variations for a solid perfect look. And now it's time to put the card together and I'm going to let you listen to a little music while you watch me do this.
Before I finish, I just want to take a minute to let you all know how much I appreciate you and your comments and you watching the ads because that helps me keep my channel going. And I wouldn't have a channel if it wasn't for all of you wonderful people out there. So thank you all so very much. And here's my finished card. And I really love how it turned out. And I think that there are so many possibilities with that seashells and starfish frame cutting die from In Love Arts. And I'll have links below in the description box to that cutting die as well as the beach umbrella and surfboard cutting die set that I used part of today and a 25% off discount code to In Love Arts should you decide to shop there. Also, don't forget, if you're interested in learning more about foiling without a machine, I have those videos right here on the screen as this video is ending. Happy crafting, everyone. Bye-bye.